What's up guys? It's like a 50 degree day here. It's like my first YouTube video so I thought I'd make it about my new passion here in life. It's about bees. So like I said it's like 50 degrees here. We've been below freezing. Some teens, some single digits. But when it hits 50 degrees man these these bees are out so those four nukes are empty two of them died out this winter just a few weeks ago uh, my neglect late queen rearing um, plenty of food I always leave plenty of stores in the hives for winter um, but yeah everything else I'm real happy with it this hive right here is doing really well See if I can pop the top on it. Show you how I how I overwinter here, and I've had tons of success with it. People always have problems with overwintering, and I think the main thing to understand is that it's not the cold weather. The two bad variables are ventilation and moisture. Bees can survive sub-zeros without a breeze, moisture, and plenty of ventilation. So, simply put some scrap, drilled some holes on these risers, probably two, three inches. Put some screen over it. Mountain cap, what they call it. This is, this is early February in Kansas. So, look at my clusters. I'm happy. I've done this for three years now and, and I've never had a hive die over winter from anything other than my, my neglect and something that I cause a problem with. This mountain capping method is the, it's something I will stand by forever. Um, feed on these warm days, took a full bag, 25 pound bag, sugar split it between these two buckets added about a quarter of B Pro a quarter cup of B Pro between these two added a couple drops of lemongrass oil topped it off with hot water stirred it and here it is these two buckets which I just put out are this tall these will be gone within three hours so when it drops below 50 degrees now down to the high 30s this these will be empty I can't even pick up these hives because I feed like this every time it hits 50 degrees I'm out there feeding my bees. I'm new to YouTube so please just bear with me. I got screen bottom boards. The only thing I use on the bottom during winter is I take these feed bags, wrap them around the bottom of the hive, put some push pins on the bottom to keep the draft down and that's it. The only thing I'm noticing this year is I didn't put duct tape around them. So there's a little bit of water leaking in some of these. So what I'll do, in two days from now, it's supposed to be 60 for like three days. Take the bottoms off. Scrape off any ice, debris, close them back up. And be good until March. I don't see any issues with these bees. The only problem I see with these bees this year is they can't wait to get spring started. I mean, it's going to be such a good spring for me this year, I, I can't wait. I never really had a honey harvest to speak of, I'm still learning. I don't have any mentors or anything, I'm just watching JP the Bee Man, Don Kuchenmeister, um, Ralph Jones, all those cats on there, and uh, I've learned a lot from you dudes. I lost one nuke this morning, my neglect, queen didn't get mated, and uh, finally died this week. But like I said, the only hives I lose during the winter is my screw-ups. So and please uh overlook this property. I'm still I've been here like five years. My family moved here from California start over and picked up an old farm it's 
beautiful property, but it's heavily neglected for the past 20 years. So we're slowly clearing it up and getting it right back to usable farm. So something, again, I've never done in my life, but, you know, tired of the music industry. It folded up. I took off, and here we are. Stay tuned because my life is bees, man. So God bless and shalom.